We're not doing anything, doing anything sensibly, practically, in an easy way to make it accessible and simple. The more complicated, the more messy, the more difficult it is, the more disempowered people feel, the more our power is asserted. Finally, in Hyderabad city, on a pilot basis, this started three years ago, you can now go to any post office in the city, a delivery post office, that means from where a postman comes and delivers you the mail. There are some other post offices where you only get the stationery, but there's no delivery. And you can find an application, and they are empowered now to enroll. And it will now spread to the whole country. The results are spectacular already. In two months, newly. So already it is simple, it's not rocket science. This did not require some brilliant mathematical deduction or some exceptional technological innovation. It is common sense. And yet it took me the most amount of time. And looks at the moment, I have been privileged to be able to see the largest number of political and governance reforms in the history of the world of the Second World War during peace time. And this is the simplest of all those changes. In the simplest of It did not require a change of constitution. It required merely a change of rules by the election commission, just as a signature by the election commission. Paradoxically, that took us the greatest effort. It was massive surveys across the country to establish the error margin voter registers. We had to do some, some research about what was happening in the world, and we had to go after them time and again and time and again. Just four months ago, Mr. Lingo, the former Chief Election Commission and his wife were with me at his dinner. I'll conclude in a minute, then maybe you can have some interaction. At a reception. Mrs. Lingo complained to me. They moved to Hyderabad after they stayed in Delhi. She complained to me that it took them three and a half years to follow the Chief Election Commission every day. <laughs> this is a real story. I'm not going to I told Lingo I'll move this story publicly. Lingo was standing next to her and I said, you must be ashamed in this country. And you thought you were an omnipotent God, and you thought these were all trivial matters. You never really did what was required. And now you and your wife are complaining. And I told her, go and bash up your husband at least try it if you can't do it in public. <laughs> <laughs> so Lingo said, look, I already visit this so much, and the prince and my wife at that, no. Already the no man is a hero for his wife or a valet. You make it even more difficult. But tell me what should I do? I said, Mr. Lingo, you now call up Mr. Gopal Swami, whom I knew very well. And tell him, look, do it. At least now, this is my personal experience. I'm ashamed. I'm going to send to Delhi. I will facilitate your travel to Delhi. Sit with them in the election commission. The very people who served under you and served you require small technical steps to make this happen. If you are sitting there, the bureaucrats will not play games. So otherwise, they'll find a thousand reasons and they'll exhaust you to take another ten years. They are Lingo, who is the left of this in India. So he said, Dear yeah, Prakash, you please go and meet the full commission. I'm going to do the to go there. So I said, Fine. So I went there, all alone, to meet the three election commissioners and three of the senior most officers. Before going to Delhi, Dr. Mr. Gopal Swami telephoned me. He had a 45 minute conversation with me and he told me why they were not going to allow the post officers to be the non He gave me a labored explanation why how they are really trying to improve voter registration. Very honest explanation. I said that I fully appreciate what you're doing, Mr. Chief Election Commissioner, but the truth is simple and simple. All this complicated talk is of no value. But I appeal to you that you have an open mind. He said, no, no. The full commission sat and formally decided that we will not entrust to post offices. I said, why? He said, because we will not have control. I said, is it Pakistan? <laughs> He said, no, 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 the revenue department, because all the election commissions are IAS guys, the service to which I belong. So there is a certain hierarchy. The election commissions are all IAS fellows, mostly. This time around all three. All the chief electoral officers are IAS fellows. All the district collectors who are in charge of elections are IAS fellows. And they all press about a decrepit 150-year-old revenue administration. The revenue division officer, the person, the blah, blah, blah. And they feel a ownership, an institutional nostalgia. But there is this very convenient, comfortable notion 